Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Spring Boot, Map Struct and How to Map Beans is a very popular subject. I can see that there's a lot of comments uh, on the subject and there's, um, yeah, and there's a lot of views in general. So I'll just take, uh, I'll take some more of the questions and answer them uh, right now. And the question I will answer tonight is how do we handle enumerations, enums? It's a good question. It's actually um, a lot of fun to deal with uh, the enums and it's very, very easy. This map struct framework, it, it continues to amaze me. Um, it is it is awesome also with, with enums. Uh, and again, I'm not paid to say that. I just really like the framework. Now, let me just show how easy it is. So what I did is, is instead of uh, us trying to convert the uh, trains into spaceships, as we have been doing the other evenings where we, where we have been playing with the map struct and, and uh, Spring Boot, I've created a new package, which is called Alien. Then I've created two aliens, a furry alien, which is right here. This is my furry alien data class. It has a full name and then it has a fur type. So the fur type can be greasy, long, short, pointy or flat. And then I've created another alien type uh, or another alien and that is the slimy alien. That is right here. It also has a full name. And it has the the field name right here is exactly the same as in the furry alien. So uh, so so due to my laziness, then I do not need to actually mention this mapping at all. It would just happen automatically. If I wanted to be ignored, of course, then I, I could do that. And I need to specifically say that this field should not be mapped. Uh, then uh, the slime alien has a slime type right here, and the slime types that's also an enumeration right here. So we have two enums: the slime type and the fur type. The slime type is right here: corrosive, sticky, tasty, and smelly. That are the, yeah, those are the slime types that I just uh, quickly uh, come up came up with. So what we want to do now is we want to create a furry alien from the slimy alien. So that is what we want to do. And we start just uh, we start out just like we, uh, us we usually do by creating an alien mapper interface like this, and then we annotate this with add mapper. And I want to use Spring. I want to uh, to inject this into a REST controller afterwards. So I'm I'm writing component model equals to Spring, and that that, that actually creates a component out of this that I can inject to, uh, yeah, which which was Spring uh, Spring class uh, I want to uh, inject it into. And then I'm used, and I have added uses, and then my date uh, map right here. The, re the only reason why I actually um, added that is actually we, because we, had to, we don't have any dates at all. So I just wanted to show you that the, we, one way to handle the problem with the enumeration is actually to create a separate enumeration map, or like a fur to uh, a slime to fur type uh, map, or something like that. If we wanted to, to do that, we could have done that. We could have placed all this code in, in a separate class, just like we did with the date mapper. But we did not want to do that. We did that. We did this in another way. We're using the add value mappings annotation instead. So this is another way to do it. And we start with add uh, value uh, uh, mappings like this, and then we have all the ma value mappings uh, named uh, in in here. So that means the first we are actually telling our mapper how to convert a slime type to a fur type, that is step one. And then the second step when we're done with that, then we can start actually telling our mapper how, uh, yeah, that, that we actually would like to convert a whole slimy alien into a furry alien. So that's the second step. But the first step is that the mapper needs to know how should it actually convert a map uh, between these um, enums right here. Uh, and the way we do that is actually to mention them with a string. And uh, there was one person in the comments who was a bit uh, nervous about uh, what about if I refactor, what about if I refactor my enumeration, then uh, then the map structs uh, framework it doesn't uh, it does not uh, see this, and then uh, I will just get um, yeah I will, I will not get a, a a result as expected. And that is why you need to write good unit tests. But uh, you are right, of course, when we are using strings like this, and uh, when when reflection is used to to figure out and to to, to do all the magic. Then we have that problem. Yes, it is not type safe. So if I go and refactor the corrosive, uh, the corrosive slime type over here, if I go refactor that to something else, then uh, yeah, that, that would be a problem. Then uh, the mapper would not uh, map this correctly. But for now, just uh, let us just play with the basics to begin with right here, and that is that we have a source right here, uh, and uh, th that is a corrosive. So I have a slime type corrosive. And I want that to be converted into the target, which is pointy. And that means that that, that is the third type, which we have right here. We have pointy right there. So 
Uh, so we want the corrosive slime type to be to, to become uh, the pointy fur. If we if we are converting a slime a slime alien into a fur alien, maybe we can do that with some DNA techniques. I don't know, but uh, the result, uh, nevertheless, is that a corrosive uh, slime slime alien will become a pointy uh, fur uh, furry alien instead. And say so sticky will become shorts instead, and tasty slime will become flat hair would give flat a uh, flat hair alien and then we can use something called remaining that means we do not need to mention all the outcomes we can just say any remaining and then long that that just means that if we are too lazy to mention all of the um, all of the enums or if, if the, it is actually the, the case that all the rest of the enums that we haven't thought of yet they will actually end up with a long uh, 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 long for a fur type then um, then we just write like this any remaining we can also say null that's also one for null if we want to say that this, it has not been set yet, so let us also just add that, add null, and we say that the, uh, that, that should be sh okay. We have the point. We have the short. Let me just see if we have one that has not been used. Yeah, greasy, greasy has not been used. Let's. So if it's null, then the hair will. Be, if the slime type is null, then the the hair, the the fur type will actually end up being greasy instead. And then we have the method right here, the method signature. It returns a fur type from a slime type. So it's an interface, so we do not write any code. That is one of the yeah, that, that is a, one of the beautiful thing about this framework right now. It's a, it's an interface, and we do not mess up our data model. And here we have the source, which is the slime type, and the target is the fur type right there. So that means that when we convert a slimy alien. Then it will actually first of all we will get all the fields that has the same name they will be auto converted and then it will actually look at okay we have something named slime type and we have something we want to map that into fur type and we actually know how to do that because the 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 programmer the developer actually just told me how to to do this conversion right here so that is enums let us see it works uh let's see it work but before that let me just show the rest controller that i created i've created an alien rest controller Again, we get the alien mapper injected because mapstruct supports spring. It is so awesome. I think it's really awesome. It's cool. Cannot be said enough. And then we have the get mapping right here. So that means if I go to furry, then I'll get a furry alien. But we will get it from a slimy alien. Let's look, look, look right here. We are having a slimy alien that we are creating. Slimy alien. The name is Mike, of course. And of course, the type is uh, smelly to begin with. Um, it is just something I made up. It has nothing to do with the uh, real life or anything. And then we have uh, the, the furry alien right there, which is being uh, created from the mapper. Oh, and then we need to return the furry alien right here. It will return right there. So the, I'm doing it in steps, so it's more uh, more explicit what is actually going on. And I know we could have made a, a one-liner for, for all of this, uh, of course. Uh, but now we made it in three lines instead. Let me start my application and let us see what we get. I've also prepared a curl alien shell, uh, curl script of here. So now the server has been started. Let me curl the furry like this. Yes, now I got this uh, alien right here. I got this furry alien, which uh, by the full name is Mike, and the fur type is long. And let us go check our mapping if that is correct. So we had the we had the slimy, um, yeah, we had the slimy, and then and, and because we are not mentioning slimy, then we will end up in this line right here, any remaining, and then uh, long instead. Let us try to give me, t uh, like, let's try to create me uh, from, uh, yeah, from from a tasty slime instead. So if I go to the alien rest control, and then I say that the slime type from my kind of alien, from the Mike alien, is tasty instead, then we should end up with another fur type. So we will rerun our application like this. And then we can curl the alien again. So now we have Mike and the third type is this time flat. Awesome. So the mapping actually works and uh, yeah, it is, uh, it is amazing. Let us try to create, so make that refactor just to, actually, to show you what actually uh, what happened. Because right now we have the we have the maple right here, so we have sticky. Oh, we have tasty. That ends up in uh, flats, and there was tasty I just used. So let me just uh, now we actually want to change the the tasty slime, the slime type tasty. And this was one uh, what one of the uh, the commenters actually said that uh, he he would actually like something that's a bit more type safe. Um, 
but that is uh, currently not uh, possible because we are supposed to give strings in those annotations right there. Or at least it's not possible uh, to my knowledge. Let me uh, let me let me phrase it like that because sometimes uh, we are surprised, right? But of, of what actually uh, what is actually possible. So, but now uh, instead of tasty, then we write um, salty. So now it's salty sli uh, slime instead. And we actually get, you can actually see here that IntelliJ is pretty, pretty smart. It actually it actually sees what is uh, what we have. We actually have some code right here. That we have this code right here, which is uh, which is then tasty, and that, is, that, that doesn't exist anymore. And we would like to change that, of course, but that is in the generated uh, classes. Then we have. Yeah, we are, we are actually using it right there, so we would like to change it there, of course. And then, then let us do the refactor, yes. So now we have salty right here, but let us go to our mapper. It still says tasty. So the mapper, because this is a string, then the mapper did not, uh, it, it, it didn't notice that uh, that this should also be salty. So let us see what actually happens now that we, we run our application. Stop and rerun. Let us see what actually happens. Curl alien and then the we'll CLC. Now we'll end up a bit long because uh, there's nothing named T because the tasty mapping um, no 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 longer works. This is, should have been salty instead. If you wanted the, fl the flat hair again, so salty. We run the application again and run the curl script once again when the server's up and running. Like this, Mike flat. So that's all for me tonight. Um, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much for for, for very much for the con for the comments. Um, I think I will create some more videos about MapStruck because there's a lot of uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff we haven't talked about yet. Have a great evening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.